what is up you guys and welcome to or back to my youtube channel in today's video we are going to be doing a curly haired routine i'm so excited because i have yet to post one on my channel this year so this is going to be a update on what i do now it's a very quick one as well so if you guys have seen my routines usually i will like individually finger coil all of my hair this routine is a lot different a lot more faster and it's something new that i've been trying that i am absolutely in love with so i love how the results turned out this is not just going to be any regular curly haired routine i'm also going to be doing a q and a i want to start getting a little bit more personal with you guys here on the channel and just post a lot more have you guys get to know me as we're doing the routine quick little q and a just have some basic questions that i get all the time and yeah if you want to know anything else that i didn't get to answer let me know down below it's not much of a q and a it's just a couple of questions that i wanted to do i definitely want you guys to try this method and let me know what you think if you think it is as easy as I thought it was don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps me out a whole whole bunch and without further ado let's jump straight into this new curly haired routine all right you guys so starting off I have not washed my hair since three weeks almost a month it's been a while you guys but I have been oiling my hair every night with some of my I don't want to mispronounce it I don't know if it's Deber, but um, it's the Amila Gold Hair Oil. I have it linked on my Amazon storefront under um, All Things Beauty on top of my vanity. Um, that's the section that it's under. And I've been just oiling my scalp. We are on our hair growth journey, you guys. So I probably have a lot of buildup going on. Um, the curls, they're kind of there. I wet it like every now and then with my coconut oil hairspray before I go to school and stuff. So that's why the curls don't look terrible. And let's get her back good and bouncing. We are going to begin with a good old-fashioned hair mask my therapy session hair mask you guys probably have seen this used on my Instagram a lot if you follow me on Instagram um, I love this hair mask I love that it comes in such a big container I think they rebranded their containers and it looks like it comes with a lot more than what it used to so we love that this smells so amazing I'm trying to smell it and there's a thing on top of it I love it. It takes me back for some reason. It's really nice nostalgic smell. Let's go ahead and jump into our first question while we apply our Avery New York Therapy Session Hair Mask. Powered by argan oil and plant protein, y'all. The real good stuff. <laughs> so our first question is how many piercings do I have? So I have a total of... I have 11 piercings in total yes do i plan on getting any other piercings not really i really love ear piercings i think they're so cute i did want to fill up my ear that's why i got the cartilage pierced on both sides but my cartilage piercing if i have to rate all these by the worst by far the worst was the cartilage when it took so long to heal five ever and then it always gets caught in my hair i can never wear my hair down so i was like you know what i don't think i can do the rest of my ears like I, it's not gonna work so i think i'm just gonna stick with the piercings that i have i'm not really interested in getting any more my boyfriend said i should get a septum piercing but i don't think i will look good with that <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and rub in my hair mask and get it all nice and saturated I'm applying it really weird guys because I'm doing a stop motion so I want it to look cool definitely go to my TikTok and socials to check that out if you're interested I'm gonna damp my hair not soak not soak it but I have a little bit of my coconut oil water here and I'm just gonna use that and let that product really soak into my hair again I'm not soaking my hair in water I'm just giving it a light mist and that's it not too much get them ends y'all we don't want dry ends and this is really helping get that moisture boost back into us grab that product and put it into the root drag it down from the root down to your ends and then make sure you saturate them ends All right, now let's twist her down. 
So I'm gonna let this sit in my hair for about an hour or two. I really let it sit there, saturate, let it do its stuff. Clean up my studio room while that's all soaking up in my hair. While I go around, I'm gonna put my hair up in this little baggy bag. Let's answer another question, and that is going to be, do I have any pets? And yes, some of you may know I have a little page on my Instagram, a highlight also, but I own two French bull... I'm holding up four. Two French bulldogs, um, one boy and one girl. My boy's name is Eli, and he is black and brindle. And then I have Fendi, she's my girl. She is gray, white, and like multicolored mix in there. It looks really, really beautiful. And Eli, he is three years old. He was the first child. And then Fendi is, I believe, about to be one, but I think she's like, nine months nine ten months she's still a baby we got her like a couple months ago but it hasn't been a full year i know for sure as yet so yeah those are my two little babies i love them so much let me know if you guys want to see any like puppy content i would love to post some like show their like day in their meals they have like special food that they eat and they're really spoiled and pampered so i would love to do like content with them i think you guys would definitely love that but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and let this sit i will see you guys and just point three seconds for y'all so i am out of the shower i feel nice and refreshed so i went ahead and went in with my l'oreal paris l vibe dream length curls um the no build up curls my cellular shampoo i know you guys have definitely seen me use this on my channel here before i love it so much i'll be using it like just a little bit little bit i don't want to waste it too much because a little goes a long way with this so i love that and this is just awesome because like i said before we've had our hair in for a while and we had a lot of oils and build up so i also um, went in with my it's a 10 scalp restore miracle tingling conditioner um it's a 10 came out with a new line it's their new like scalp care line but their thing is like hair growth and hair care is all within the scalp so i absolutely love that this tingling conditioner was so refreshing in the shower i literally still feel little tingles in my head it's one of those like peppermint type conditioners my head feels so cool like it, it has this like tingling cooling effect to it so it's like really amazing i enjoyed that so i went ahead and wrapped my hair up with a 100 percent cotton t-shirt all of those microfiber towels i give and i could not find one of them around here so we're using a t-shirt i am going to go in next with actually this new collection i have been wanting to try this for the longest this is the curl club um i've seen them on instagram oh i've opened it up already for tiktok i've seen so many curly girlies use them and Mm, their products look so good like look at this leave-in conditioner look at how thick that looks y'all know i love a good nice thick creams i'm gonna be using their leave-in conditioner it has avocado and grapeseed in it y'all know y'all know we be putting that avocado in our hair it protects your curls while adding moisture and easier for detangling and manageability silicone free premium free sulfur free all that other stuff free um it says it's good for moisturizing so we're gonna go in with that next we're gonna go in with the curl defining cream also has avocado and i don't know how to pronounce that um quinis quinos and quino i don't know um we're gonna use this to define our curls reduce frizz and elongate curls for a soft silky feel oh, while adding brilliant shine so hopefully we get some nice silky curls then with this result. They also sent a hydrating cleanse um, shampoo and conditioner. We didn't use those two um, because y'all know I have my go-tos. Um, but I will definitely need to try that out. Never go wrong with some extra shampoo and conditioner. They're two different tones. Hydrating detangling conditioner. Oh, the conditioner is olive and mango. And the shampoo is coconut and aloe these are so amazing i love their ingredients let's go ahead and answer another question another question that i get quite frequently is what do i do for a living every time i post you know like my car videos and stuff like that people are like girl like what is your job like what are you what's your career and stuff like that and if it's not obvious already but my job or career is literally content creation i actually signed to an agency out in la that was about a year ago I believe it was either a year or two ago because we just hit the new year so it was probably two years ago the social cafe agency they reached out to me i was back whenever my account had like i'd say like 300k um and then my instagram i didn't have anything on instagram or anything like that on at all and my manager is literally the best i love her so much um she's so sweet she helps me get brand deals she helps me get opportunities um she's always on the lookout for me she flew me out to la for my very first time y'all know i'm from houston texas she's just 
an overall amazing human being. I love her so much. She's really helping me, you know, grow my account. She helps me with tricks and tips and help me stay on top of posting and stuff like that. So we love Alyssa and um, yeah, I do content creation. I market for brands whenever they send me products. I'll create videos for them. Video marketing, you know, if anybody has any products or a business that, you know, wants to be promoted on my page, they reach out to my manager and she helps me get like brand deals and different opportunities to be able to continue on with my career through social media so that's what I do for a living I do that and I also am a full-time student but I'm going there for my psychology degree in BA and um, I actually want to be a immigration or criminal attorney so you can actually major in anything to get into law school you don't have to major in political science or more law stuff once you get into law school you're gonna study the same stuff again. You're studying law for another like four years. You know what I mean? That was like one of the best advice I got back when I was in high school and Avid, um, someone else who wanted to be an attorney, one of the tutors wanted to be one and that's what they told me. They were like, literally major into something you like. You have four more years after that that you're gonna be learning a whole bunch of laws. You don't wanna double it and make it eight girls. So just enjoy your first four years. So I was like, you know what? Psychology and I feel like psychology will also help me with clientele things like that I'm really interested in our minds why we do the certain things that we do how our brains work love psychology I have so much fun I learn something new every day and I'm genuinely interested in it I go to school for that hopefully in the future and will be a attorney whether that be immigration or criminal defense My family is from Trinidad and Tobago I've just grown up seeing how long it takes to be able to get your citizenship here um, to get family here I know how Hard it is so I want to be able to just help other families around be able to live their American dream and feel safe <laughs> curl defining cream by the same collection gold collection and our next question while we're at it how do I stay motivated um people would say like i do a lot of things at once and i really it's gonna sound really corny but you guys are my number one that's how i stay motivated like seeing comments that say oh my gosh i felt inspired to do this or i did this and this because you did this or whatever like it makes me so happy and i'm like oh my gosh like let me do it again like i want to keep doing that i want to just keep making stuff that'll just help others you know what i mean feel inspired and want to just live life to the fullest out there but i mean another thing if that's too corny for you and you want something like to be like well i mean i can't really use that like idea or whatever like whatever you know like you want another example the power of now if you guys have read this book before um it really does change it girl like it really helps you want to live in the present moment and just appreciate the little things that you have in life and once you just take a step back from always like grinding 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 doing stuff it helps you like enjoy what you actually do a lot more if that makes sense i mean i don't know i really do like this book and i really do think that you know it can really help you know maybe some of you guys out there who feels like you want to have a little bit of motivation a little bit of like that spiritual journey type of ordeal this is what really started it for me and i really enjoy that book i listened to eckhart tolle's um i hope i don't even know how to say his last name correctly but i've been listening to his like podcasts and stuff like that and lessons like lessons and i think that also really helps me as well it's just listening to positive um self like awakening spiritual books type stuff and i really would suggest starting off with this one we're gonna put this all over my hair and once the cream is all over my hair this is this new technique that i've been trying y'all and like it's been really saving my time you need a good thick curling cream like this curling cream is look you still see my finger imprints in it like it's thick get yourself a nice thick one because this is what's really going to do it your hair make sure it's damp it doesn't have to be soaked actually make sure it's not soaked because your product is just going to slip right out that's how mine's looking for reference soak it in the towel for a couple of minutes not too cold not too hot type of ordeal you know what i mean just right in the middle take your big gloops and we're going to completely coat my hair in the goops so i'm going to record it for tiktok real quick do my little time lapse so it's going to look funny but that's what we're doing all right Don't overload it with product. Like, this is good. You see how it's already, like, kind of trying to form, but it's not too, too heavy down? I know this looks funny, y'all, but make sure it's, there's no clumps. Make sure there's no knots. But you're just taking that thick curling cream all throughout your hair. Evenly spread it. Yeah. 
I can already tell it's gonna look so good. I'm gonna give it a light spray, not too much again. A light mist. Because you don't want it to be so, but that's good. Just like that. No more. As we go into my fingers, you're going to squeeze and clump together any parts. As you're doing this, you're squeezing your knuckles together and pulling down. Squeezing and pulling down. See that? Raking that product throughout my hair. Once you've done that, look at these little sticks that's forming. <laughs> what? So once that's done, because water is what forms your curls, and then I'm gonna go in with my crunch. And then I shake it just to make sure some curls can be broken up. Oh y'all. Y'all see how the curls are forming? Yes. Shake it so we have um, volume and multiple curls. The more curls, the merrier. I always like to break it up like this because I like to break it up into like multiple curls so we don't have to do too much of that later on. But look at how pretty they look. Look, oh my gosh, and that was so fast. Like, you don't have to sit there and do it. And you don't have to scrunch too much because we're gonna go in with our gel and scrunch. Just make sure you're forming curls that you like. Look for any that you don't like and you can finger coil. But I'm loving all of them. They all look so good. This technique is awesome. It looks so good. <laughs> That's a lot of pretty curls. So. Now I'm gonna go on and we're gonna do this side. This curling cream is amazing. Wow. <laughs> So our curls are popping. When I tell y'all that technique saves me so much time, like look at how defined those curls look. So next we're gonna go in with the gel. This is a curl empowering cream gel from IMBU, Kinks Curls and Coils. So we're gonna go in with this cream gel instead of like a hard gel. Ooh, look at that. Then I'm just gonna scrunch it into my hair. And before we scrunch it in, let's answer another question. That's going to be relationship status. So, girl, what you on business for? No, I'm just playing. You know, you know. I've been in a relationship since um, I was either 16 or 17. I really can't remember. It was my junior year of high school. Since then, so since then, it's been about five or six years. Probably six years. I think there's some pictures. I'll, I have them linked in my Instagram bio. Whoever it is, his name is Josh. And yeah, he's my little high school sweetheart. And I got a promise ring from him right here. Last year. Ain't she cute? My nails need to get done, y'all. But ain't she cute? It's pink. He got me pink and rose gold because I love me some pink. So yeah, let's go ahead and put in this cream gel. So I went through and just finger coiled a little bit of the front pieces to make it look all perfect in the front. I'm just going to grab a little bit of jelly gel. Squeeze it into my hair, y'all, to hold the shape. scrunched side and I'm gonna do it again to the other and this helps reduce frizz keep it nice and formed and we have scrunched in the cream all throughout the hair let me show you the back Okay, is she growing? Is she growing? And yeah, 
I'm gonna go ahead and I already started, forgot to record, but I'm gonna take my 100% cotton t-shirt and I'm going to squeeze out the rest of the product that's in my hair. I'm just gonna grab it so it doesn't weigh down our curls. I'm just gonna squeeze, 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 and then release down, squeeze the back. And again, this is going to make sure that it doesn't weigh down our hair and keep it nice, light, and fluffy when she's dried, yet defined. I have finished my full routine. All that's left is for a little bit of drying. So, well not a little bit, a lot of it. It's gonna take a while to dry. My go-to is not usually to diffuse. I usually do my hair late at night and I literally let it dry overnight. Again, make sure you squeeze out all that extra product, all that extra water. If you need to use another t-shirt, use another one from the roots up. But go ahead and shake the roots a little bit. You don't wanna get sick or nothing. You know, so if you wanna diffuse it a little bit, diffuse it a little bit so it's not totally, totally soaked. Make sure it's not soaking wet. Um, like I'm gonna go around, watch some TV, stuff like that, chill. But I'm gonna put it up in a pineapple. I use these spiral thingies. This really help prevent any dents and stuff like that. It really just props your hair up. A lot of curly girlies usually put like pins in their roots to kind of make sure the roots dry upwards. This is a technique that I use because I think the pins are like, I don't know if they really work that good. This is what I do. Take your little thing, spiral, and hold on. You don't want to touch your hair with your hands. I almost forgot. Go ahead and grab yourself any oil, your favorite oil, and coat your hands in that oil. Then you can proceed to touch your hair because you don't want any frizz being created. And once you got your little pineapple going, I'm gonna grab my bonnet. Slumped. And I know this bonnet may look like, oh, girl, it's gonna slip off your head. Y'all know my sheets, silk, silk. Every natural needs to have all silk sheets. That's also what's gonna help the curls get all messed up while we're sleeping. So if you want some cute silk sheets or some satin ones, those are affordable and they still work just as good, girl. I got some on my Amazon storefront again. Um, link in the description box down below. Like it's helpful sleeping stuff. I'm going to head to bed and I will see you guys in the morning and we'll take a look at what's underneath here and finish off our routine. It is the next day. I have showered and gotten dressed and now it is time to do the hair. So let's go ahead and take her out the bonnet. How it looks overnight, I did not touch it. So on the same pineapple that it was in last night, I let it dry in that same position. So before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some more of my oil. Uh, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this before, I don't think I did, but this is just the Flawless uh, Storing Exotic Oil Treatment. Um, I also have the Millennium Oil too. I'd use this on my fingers, but I don't wanna waste her, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna use this one, put it on my fingers, cause it still works just as nicely, but I'm not using it for hair growth. I'm using it for maintenance. And then we can start p messing with the hair, so. Looks. So as you can see it dried with a little bit of like a oomph and then coming down So like it puts that volume at the root if that makes sense So it didn't dry like flat on my head as if it would if I didn't put it up in a pineapple The curls look so good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh So I'm gonna just go in and just I guess break up any curls Separate them by just doing this you letting them separate easily letting the oil run through my hair I'm also kind of coating my hair with the oil as I'm doing this. Curls came out. Uh, and the method was so fast, y'all. Like, literally, it took three seconds to do that. I didn't have to sit there and finger coil and look at how defined they look. Wow. Usually, it takes, like, day two or day three hair for it to look this good. Because usually, my day one hair is, like, super flat from Lebanon. Any curls, as you can see, I'm not really I'm not fangirling over these two. They're kind of ugly. I'm just gonna grab a little spray bottle and you're gonna give it a little twist. Cause we still slept on it y'all. So it's not gonna be 100% perfect, but you can make it look like it is. Look at how good that just blended right in. It don't take nothing but like two little spritzes. And so this is what I mean by separate. You separate. Sorry, I'm going all over the place talking. <laughs> My hair is like are drying out because it's all going in the hair. So always constantly remember to keep your fingers coated. 
now actually I'm gonna grab my my rosemary oil and I'm going to now put it on my fingers <laughs> I'm almost out and put it in the root of my hair because now I'm actually just applying to the root and root is where the hair growth is so now I'm just gonna yeah apply the oil shake it in my hands are nice and oiled shake it up in there During your curly hair routine like and letting it dry overnight it just sets you up for success the next day y'all like wake up the next morning and be like i did my curly hair routine last night and it's looking good the curls look all even throughout because i shook them out so they were able to fall out and form naturally <sighs> past Anna could see how good my curls look today, I would be so proud of myself. I'd be so proud. So I'm going to show you guys the back views. Yes. Before we go to our ending, I'm going to answer one very last question. And that is, what's my nationality? Like, where am I from? Family details, stuff like that. Um, and my family is actually from Trinidad and Tobago. My mom and my dad came to America and they had me. They're West Indian. And um, yeah, I'm the basically the first generation that was born here in America. Our, our legacy here, you know, turn it up. <laughs> my mom, my grandma, my uncle, and then I have some like cousins and stuff that are also as well. <laughs> That's that. I still have family basically um, in Trinidad. Every once in a while, they do come over um, for summer vacation and stuff like that whenever we can. And I've only been to Trinidad one time. Um, it was so long ago. <laughs> I was like 14. I was like 14, 13. I was really, really young, but it was so beautiful and I would really, really, really love to go again. But yeah, that is that. That's my family's like origins and family info. <laughs>right you guys and that is going to be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed my updated 2023 curly hair routine slash q a i didn't want to like overwhelm it with too many questions so i just tried to keep it you know light and sweet just some basic everyday questions that i get i do want to start being more personal on my youtube with you guys and just posting more content have you guys get to know me a little bit more and just things like that but don't forget to check out my other socials for more content Content. Check out the description box down below for any products that you've seen. I'll have links down there um, The product names and anything that you guys need access to will all be down there My Amazon storefront link for any like supplies that I use hair bonnets all that will get you nice and squared away Let's just do one last look on the hair I love it. I think it came out so perfect loving the volume i'm loving the curls ah, i think it looks awesome so yeah if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel we recently hit 12k subscribers i'm so excited i was so happy for that that happened i think whenever i posted my tesla content so i'm just so yay we are slowly but surely growing you guys so i'm just so excited to just continue on this youtube journey and just continue growing and sharing nice fun useful content for you guys i love you guys so so much and i will see you in my next video bye Mwah.